At the Supreme Court, Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio has inhibited himself from discussions about a writ of Kalikasan protesting the environmental plunder allegedly being wrought by China in the West Philippine Sea. Some magistrates say the filing was politically motivated. Del De Vera with the story. The West Philippine Sea is an issue close to Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio's heart. But he said as a man of delicadeza, he has chosen to voluntarily inhibit himself from a case compelling the government to protect the contested waters. Supreme Court spokesman Brian Hosaka says Carpio cited only one reason. The reason why he is inhib inhibiting himself voluntarily is because it is for the peace of mind of the parties, particularly the Solgen. Solicitor General Jose Calida sought for Carpio's inhibition for his supposed personal bias over his active participation in the country's arbitration case as well as his pronouncements against the government's inaction on the arbitral award. Without Carpio, the oral arguments began with the petitioners. Justice Andres Reyes asserted that the petition is politically motivated and meant to embarrass the country. Reyes said the petition presupposes that the Philippines is like the United States, where the government can attend to every problem. Reyes then asked if placing soldiers in maritime features not considered an enforcement of laws. The petitioners agreed but insist that the government also has the responsibility to prosecute. So it's not an easy thing to enforce. So that's why I, I just feel sad that you're asking for enforcement and I just feel sad that our country, though it wants to enforce our laws, we don't have enough uh, money. You know, we cannot even pay our soldiers, our policemen properly. And here we are demanding that we enforce something in, in the high seas and we don't, we don't even to peg the value of how much are stolen from our fishes, how, how much is stolen every day from a young So Do you know? I don't know, Your Honor. At this point, the justice has questioned the petition's failure to include names of those allegedly responsible for the destruction of marine resources in the West Philippine Sea. Justice Estela Perlas Bernabe questioned how they can be prosecuted if they are not impeded in the case. The justice has also hit their failure to attach judicial affidavits from the fishermen, a requirement needed for a writ of Kalikasan. But the petitioners anchor their case on the submissions made by the government under the Aquino administration to the arbitral tribunal. Justice Alfred Benjamin Kagiwa told the petitioners that he doesn't get their petition to go after vessels that supposedly committed crimes in 2012 to 2014. But for Justice Ramon Hernando, if based on the petition, officials of the past administration who have done nothing should also be held liable, including Justice Kagiwa, who served as Justice Secretary under former President Aquino. The prosecution, however, said... The reason why we, we believe that the present um, respondents should take action is because the tribunal's decision is already out. There's nothing anymore there to be uh, to cause an issue for. And uh, we think that they should continue with the enforcement of our laws. Before today's session ended, Justice Marvik Leonen asked the petitioner if this case is an attempt to make China comply with the arbitral award to which lawyer Shal Zokno indirectly answered in the affirmative. The respondents are set to take the podium on the second oral arguments on July 9. For News 5, Dale Tavera, we are One News.